a good idea to wrap any bag handles around your handlebars so that if it does that, if you hit a puddle, you don't lose your wrap top, okay? Um, yeah, I think the group of 10 kids that we're designing for, um, they come from families who are from the country who are disadvantaged, they, um, they, they want to uh, learn um, new skills that can, so they can further themselves rather than stay in a disadvantaged group. Uh, we've got a few children, they really, um, they're really impressive, they all really want to learn. Um, and from what we can tell, they if they could if they could study 24 hours a day, they would um, just to better themselves. Children that have um, come from homes where they've slept on concrete floors and they've had absolutely nothing, and the accommodation that they're living in now is a single room with a shower that's maybe one meter by one meter and. There's two or three to each room and they sleep, they have a mattress um, which pretty much covers the size of the room so they're quite small but to them that's amazing. I think that there's a number of objectives working with the RMIT design and construction students. The first one is that it's very hard for young design professionals to if they're interested in working in international development or in the humanitarian field to even know where to start. If you're a lawyer, um, clearly there's a, a, a strong tradition of going to work in pro bono areas. If you're a doctor, you can go and work in with Médecins Sans Frontières. Even engineers, there's a strong organisation such as Red R and Engineers Without Borders. For architects um, and landscape architects, however, it's quite often hard to know even where to begin in this area. I think we're still going to get breeze from over the top. I prefer this site because um, it's the main road's just up there, so coming over the bridge, it's easy access from where the kids work down near the five star resorts. And also, I think this neighbourhood seems a bit less industrial than we, what we had before. A lot of families, a lot of front yards, a lot of backyards. Um, people seem to be out and about, but at the same time, it's, it's not as busy as the town centre. Part of this project, Rebuilding the Community, was about providing students the insight of working with poor communities. But this project is also about them providing design concepts that within six months will be funded and hopefully within one year will be built. So our emphasis here is really on real world projects rather than design tourism, which is too often the norm um, in these kind of projects from architecture schools.